Welcome to YouTube. In the 21st century, a modern-day technological phenomenon swept over the globe. YouTube was a web destination designed for people to upload and share videos of any kind. When it emerged in early 2005, people for the first time finally gave truth to Andy Warhol's infamous prediction that, in the future everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. Unfortunately, due to the liberal policies of YouTube at the time, users abused this freeness and infected the network with extremely futile videos that used up the valuable memory cache of the site. The main culprits for degenerating the standard value of the videos were primarily amateurs that uploaded ubiquitous videos ranging from the boringly mundane, explicitly personal, or blatantly degrading. In late 2008, approximately half of the 10 million YouTubers protested against the loose regulation of incoming videos feeling dissatisfied and disgusted by the standard. The controversial debate instigated and triggered an unprecedented revolution of its time. The YouTube revolution was aggressive, merciless and successful. During the outbreak of the revolution, extremist radical members of YouTube formed a global alliance called the YT Guards. They created a manifesto to regulate and track down all the offenders committing the act of broadcasting less than worthy videos. The system of judgment and punishment was governed by a rating policy, and members of the YT Guards had to rate and vote for the privilege to remain existing. As the rules heightened, the YT guards had become so fervent to cleanse the network of virtual pollution that in 2009 physical action was forced upon the deemed criminals. Due to the intense lobbying, the YT guards had gained respect from the government and were, immediately, armed with the most advanced weapons that technology could offer at the time. Millions were disconnected, imprisoned, and forbidden from YouTube forever. Hysteria had struck every YouTube user and people started to destroy and annihilate their computers in an act of fear and paranoia. In the aftermath of the destruction of YouTube, the YT police accomplished their plan to smash and erase all digital material. Everything was lost. But, did it really achieve to triumph over the inevitable existence of meaningless videos for future generations?